Minnesota, another great mid-winter convention and camp meeting. We present Miracles Today, the Allen Revival telecast. We are in church. Pull up a front row. Join us in this old-fashioned Holy Ghost Miracle Restoration Revival, where thousands of people from around the world have come here to worship God in spirit and in truth. There's Gene Martin, the Miracle Valley Choir, they're singing meeting tonight. That's exactly what we're having. Listen, 1955, a special edition of Miracle Magazine, pulled it out of the files, 67, 12 years old, that carried an amazing story, the miracle of the outpoured oil. This happened 12 years ago. Listen to this. Here's the first three paragraphs. Allen, or under the Allen Revival Big Top, Los Angeles, November and December, 1955. Isn't that an old edition? Listen to this. It is like the precious anointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of the garments, as the dew of Hermon and the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. This is Psalms 133, 2 and 3. Then from Hebrews 1, 9, I quote, Thou hast loved righteousness, and thou hast hated iniquity. Therefore... God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Shout amen. amen. Joel 2.24, and your floor shall be full of wheat, and your fat shall overflow with wine and oil. And listen to this. Matthew 25, 8, and the fool is said unto the wise, give us of your oil. Another edition, February 1956. Again, the miracle of the outpoured oil. I've gone back through the old magazines, 55, 56, where God was doing such marvelous things under our tent in Los Angeles. Then another old magazine. It is dated April 1956. Carried an amazing story of an Episcopal priest. Under this title, and there is this picture, Oil Came on My Hands, the Testimony of an Episcopal Preach, a priest. Another amazing story. God poured oil on the hands of my son. This edition is November 1955. When this happened in Los Angeles under our tent in 55 and 6, it crossed the nation, the news did, in a few days. 
multitudes came to see and to receive and did receive and marvelous things happened to those who came under our tent hundreds of people in a single service came down the aisles shining glistening oil Vip from their hands and vip from their hair and vip from their skirts and ran into their shoes everybody that knows it's a fact say amen, amen. many preachers rose up in opposition and began to fight it with all the power of their might. some said it is not scriptural others declared give me scripture I have read you four scriptures from the old 55 edition and if there was no other scripture to back it up but there is let me quote again this one in Hebrews 1 9 because thou hast loved righteousness and because thou hast hated iniquity and despised sin I have anointed thee with an oil even above thy brethren and this is why so many preachers got mad this is why so many Pentecostal preachers got jealous why they said if this thing is of God and this pouring out of oil on people was of God would he not have poured it upon us instead of uh, that group of independent preachers why they said we are the church we belong to the mm -hmm denomination why we'll have you know that we're ministers of high standing in the mm -hmm Pentecostal denomination and they would quote their denomination and they would say if this was of God would God not have put it upon us God said no God said I have poured this on people who hate sin who preach holiness and I have done it even above many of the brethren jealousy swept the nation jealousy swept the country and stories tales gossips many times downright highs came from pulpits they said stay away from the Allen campaign don't go to the Allen campaign because don't you hear what's happening they say God is pouring oil on people they declare it is being poured out like God poured it on Aaron and said stay away folks it is of the devil and they were afraid that people were going to come and God would pour this all on them and this was what was happening thousands of people from all over the country came into our campaigns and God anointed them with this holy oil <laughs> It was wiped off of hands on handkerchiefs and miniature claws. People took it to the sick of the suffering of the dying and blind eyes were open and the people were healed instantly by God's power. Bring me that prayer chest down here that's filled with miniature uh, handkerchiefs. And stop it right here and lift the lid, please. Come here, sister. This has happened just the other night in this midwinter convention. And now it has happened again. What is it? Raise your hands. Somebody said, what is this? What do you think it is? Because thou hast loved righteousness and because thou hast hated sin I have anointed thee even thee with the oil of gladness even above the cold dead dry formal Pentecostal preachers and ministers you see what I mean that woman's got enough hair to shake down some of you used to have it because thou hast loved righteousness and hated sin I have anointed thee even thee with the oil of gladness even above thy brethren friends this is real many preachers said oh that's perspiration don't you tell me this is perspiration this is oil you see look at this
Do you see this on my hands? Turn all the good TV lights on. Come up here and let these Bible school students see this. Hold them up and let them see it. Do you see this, young people? Can you see it? Can you see it? Everybody raise your hands and praise the Lord. Just raise your hands, everybody, and let's rejoice in God. Now, anyone knows that that is not perspiration. You say, how does it get there? God says, I have anointed thee, even thee, with the oil of gladness. You say, that's never happened to me. Maybe some of you people need some joy. Maybe you need some old-fashioned, genuine gladness. Hallelujah. Raise your hands and say, yes, Lord. Brother Dunn, tell these people what this looks like because there's thousands of people here. Brother Allen, there can absolutely be no doubt about it. It is oil. And it has the most heavenly odor. Brother Cunningham, a missionary from Mexico who preaches across the country. Have you ever seen this before? About 10 years ago. About 10 years ago. You haven't seen it since then? No. This is the second time I have seen it since 1956 and 7. Are you listening? Yeah. Tell the people what you're seeing. If I ever saw oil in my life, I'm seeing oil tonight. This is not perspiration. This is not any kind of moisture. This is oil just running off these Whoa. hands. My Lord, it's, it's, that's real, honest to goodness oil. And it, it's just, you wipe it off and it just comes right back. God's doing this. Come here, Brother uh, Ross Collette. One of our young Bible school students, graduate here of our school, been traveling with me on the field for more than two years. And he's a young man with intelligence. Tell these people, Ross, what you're viewing. It, it looks as though she's dipped her hands down in melted butter or something. It's, it seems to be just flowing from everywhere on her hands, on her palms, on the tips of her fingers. It's oil. And here Brother Allen has told me it's running out of her forehead now and down her face. If I've ever witnessed a miracle, this is a miracle. Lift your hands and say, God, do this for me tonight. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Here's Paula Jackson, a missionary from Ghana, West Africa. I don't know whether she's ever seen this or not. Can you see this? Sister Jackson, tell these people what you're looking at. I'm looking at oil as I've never seen before. My, this is a miracle. I've never seen oil like this. I've heard about it, and I've heard people say that they receive oil in their hands and on their heads and so forth and so on, but I've never seen it, and I thank God that I've had a chance to see a miracle from heaven. Oh, glory to God tonight. It's oil. It's oil. But again, pastors a number of churches in Tyler, Texas area, Numbers of these people come into our campaigns. These people that I'm calling are not neurotics. They're solid, sound missionaries, pastors, and evangelists. Come here, Brother Ginn. Have you ever seen this oil before? Yes, yes I've seen it before, Brother. Well, look at it tonight and tell our television audience what you're looking at. Hallelujah. This is genuine oil. It reminds me of the scripture when David said, The Lord anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Woo! Hallelujah! That's what brought me into this miracle ministry, is when God anointed my head with oil, and this is literally running. Woo! Hallelujah! And wipe it off, and it comes back again. This is God! Hallelujah! Woo! This is God! I'm going to ask my daughter to come up here. Come up here, little lady. Right up here. 
Oh, yes. It's good to have my daughter here in this camp meeting from Dallas, Texas. Yes? Now, I'm going to ask her a few questions. <laughs> oh, God. That's all right. Raise your hands to heaven, everyone. Raise your hands to heaven and let God bless you. Friend, this will melt a cold heart. This will take the heart of stone out of your flesh. This is God. This is the anointing of God. This is the blessing of God. Listen, why can God not anoint with a literal oil to let you know that he has a spiritual anointing? Tell the people what you see, Mary. I've never seen this before either. I've believed it for a long time, but I've never been in a meeting before where it was happening. I've taken it by faith. I've known it was real and that it had happened many, many times, but I've never been there and looked at it. But it's, it's the most wonderful miracle. It's just a miracle, and I keep thinking of the words that we've all sang so long, bring your empty earthen vessels, bring not a few, for I will every vessel fill, I believe it. We all are above our fellows and that we love the Lord, we love righteousness, we love the things of God. I, do, I believe it's for every one of us. Yes. If you need encouragement like I need encouragement, accept it from the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, God. Bring David Davis over here. I see the tears running down his face. One of the world's greatest organists. Come here, David. That's all right. Don't be ashamed of your tears. It's time that God melts hearts. It's time that people become emotional. The most, most emotional person that I know of, sensational man in the world, was Jesus Christ. It's all right. Friend, we're having church. Come here, David, and tell the people what you see. <laughs> but now it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's, just, it's just beautiful. That's all I can say. Here comes Sister Johnson. Works in our editorial department. She's a Georgia lady who worked for some of the largest newspapers in the country. And you that uh, have been subscribing and receiving our seven great Bible training courses, they're now mailing them out by the thousand free. And you that read Miracle Magazine and bring Sister Annanelle down here, the editor, the assistant editor, associate editor of Miracle Magazine. Annanelle, I see you're back there somewhere. The TV lights are on. I can't see you now, but slip down here. And Sister Johnson edits, does the final editing and retyping of many of my books and periodicals and tracts. And I want to ask her a question. She is an intelligent woman. If she wasn't, she wouldn't be holding down the position she holds now. Sister Johnson, you've been wanting to preach. Come on and preach. All right. Praise the Lord. Well, hallelujah. We've seen a miracle. Uh, we have read about them before. I never doubted that it happened. Uh, several hundred people received this oil in Brother Allen's tent back in 1956 or 7, and I didn't doubt it, and I thank God that he allowed me to see it. I met uh, Sister Banks when she was coming in the building the first night that this happened. Uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing her here. She is a saint of God. She is an intelligent woman. She would be the first to tell you if there was anything false about this. Believe you me, she is a Christian. She's lived godly for many years. And I thank God for the privilege of being associated with people like her in this ministry. What are you looking at? I'm looking at oil, real, genuine oil. I was, I thought when Brother Ginn was here, he's from Texas. Anybody that ought to know about oil, it's Brother Ginn. Uh, this is oil. 
It is real. I oh, the goodness. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, I like to have it on me. She wants it on her. That's all right. Everybody raise your hands to heaven and let us rejoice. Here's Sister Annan L. Butler, the associate editor of Miracle Magazine, responsible for Miracle Magazine. We mail material to her from the field, home and foreign, with pictures. It's her responsibility to get all this material compiled and properly out. And next month, we'll be carrying a marvelous story and pictures of the renewed outpoured miracle oil at the winter camp meeting at Miracle Valley, Arizona. <laughs> now listen, this happened the second night of this convention. And when it happened, I had this little lady come down here. I've got hundreds of thousands, possibly, of these little miniature handkerchiefs here in this huge chest. Night after night, hundreds of people after the service is over, 12 o'clock service begins and beginning at midnight, hundreds of people pray night after night after night, hour after hour. Roll some of these, uh, this truckload of prayer requests down here, would you please? You can stop them right there. These boxes are filled with handkerchiefs filled with aprons that our friends have mailed in from across the nation. And as we fast and pray during these meetings, and from midnight as long as God leads, we lay our hands on the contents of these boxes. Can you roll me that big prayer uh, a glass front right down here so we can just look right into it and lift the lid? Thank you so much. Thousands of people from around the world have sent me telegrams and decrees and letters. They're decreeing a miracle as we believe God put them here in this camp meeting. And listen, when this happened the other night, we took the hands of this lady, or we took these little claws and wiped this oil off of these hands so we could mail an anointed cloth to you for your healing and your deliverance. There'd be no charge. If you write me a letter and you're sick and diseased and afflicted and need healing, address your request to the Allen Revival Hour, Miracle Valley, Arizona. I'll mail you one. Hand me that book uh, titled, Receive You the Holy Ghost. Some say, I don't understand this. Write for this book. I'll mail it to you free. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. You need oil in your vessel. But here, Sister Butler, tell the people what you're viewing. Brother Allen, this looks like pure oil on her hands, as if she had dipped her hands in mineral oil. It's beautiful. When this oil was first poured out, we, Brother Allen had his office in Dallas, and we heard the wonderful news, but we had never seen it before. Hallelujah. But we believed it. Glory to God. It's a sign from the Lord. And you know, they all began to be poured out on all the workers as we stood around and had our devotions in the morning. And from then on, every day as the readers were reading, one of them, or some of them, as they would be reading sometime during the day, that oil would begin to come out. And there were letters there requesting a cloth with that oil. And sometime during the day, someone would have the oil come out on their hands and they'd grab the little cloth real quick and mop that all off and send it. And God did many, many mighty miracles. This is something that can't be denied because right before your eyes, it begins to come out from the hand. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. So we know that it's true and it's real and it's a sign from the Lord. It just lets us know that the Lord is with us and with the vision that he's given us and he's going to help us to do the thing that he's called us to do. It's just a little message as far as I'm concerned from the Lord that says, I'm with you. Go ahead and do what I've called you to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. The choir, Miracle Valley Bible College Choir is going to sing, what, Gene? I want you to move. Lord, I want you to move. We're dedicating it to you who watch our telecasts. Slip down there and lay your hands on those little miniature handkerchiefs. If you'll write me for one, we'll mail you one by return mail. If there's sickness in your home, let us know. If you have a need, a financial need, you need God's financial blessing. Everybody that believes in prayer, 
come down here and lay your hands on these prayer requests. If you have written me this week, your letter, your decree is here. Your telegram is here. Hour after hour, men and women of God are laying their hands on your letters, your decrees. Address your letter to the Allen Revival Telecast, Miracle Valley, Arizona. God bless every viewer today. Let the blessing and let the anointing of God be upon every person as they watch these scenes in their home. Bring salvation, bring healing and a miracle to all who touch one of these claws, we pray. Amen. subscriber to Miracle Magazine. It's now being read by more than a million people every month. It is mail subscription paid absolutely free. Complimentary of our great church here at Miracle Valley, Arizona. 16, 24, 32 pages of great and marvelous things with pictures before and after of what God is doing in these great campaigns around the world. This great magazine will bring this revival news into your home. It's yours for the asking this week. You'll not want to miss the amazing story of Lacey Foster's Miracle Hands under the title, God Gave Me New Hands After They Had Been Burned Off. The picture is here. The Allen Revival Telecast, Miracle Valley. Arizona. I've been looking for your letter. You be looking for God to move in your home. Write Brother Allen a letter today. Send your letters and your prayer requests and your contributions to A.A. A. Allen, Miracle Valley, Arizona.